In recent news, scientists at the Southwest Research Institute have found evidence towards how the Martian moons Phobos and Deimos might have formed. In addition, it turns out they might have actually formed in a similar way that our own moon did around Earth. Let's talk about that. The two moons around Mars are called Phobos and Deimos, and both of which are a lot smaller than our moon around Earth. To be exact, Phobos is 7 million times smaller than our moon, and Deimos is 5 times smaller than Phobos, making them both minuscule in respect to how big our moon is. In addition, their surface area is only about the size of a small country here on Earth. Therefore, they're really not that big. Now when you look at a picture of these two, you don't really think of a moon, you don't think of Earth's moon or maybe Jupiter's moon, but you can almost relate it somewhat to like an asteroid. Now, the reason is because their mass isn't large enough to make them spherical like the moon or other moons or Earth is like. We're big enough so that our gravity can actually confine us into a spherical shape. Whereas these moons or asteroid looking things, they're not big enough to do so. So the origin of these two moons is still pretty unsure. As we know, the asteroid belt is right between Mars and Jupiter, so it wouldn't be that far-fetched to think, hey, what if one asteroid just got too close to Mars and it entered its orbit, and another one did so later, and therefore Mars has two moons that are really asteroids? Now, at first glance, this is pretty straightforward. It looks pretty simple and is a good idea. However, it turns out that both Phobos and Deimos are in such a particular orbit around the Mars's equator that it's just too precise. It's just too accurate and it would have to be a really small chance that these asteroids had happened to enter Martian orbit at just the right time and just the right location. Therefore, a lot of scientists are skeptical about how that's really how it happened. So this is where the new observation comes into play. In the last few years, there's been an idea that maybe Mars didn't take these asteroids, but rather it was hit by an asteroid. The evidence that was recently supposed did high model calculations by looking at whether or not maybe a large asteroid or a small dwarf planet hit Mars during its early stages in the solar system. And if it would have done that, what it would have made is a large cone or disk of debris around the planet, almost like Saturn's rings. And over time, it would have actually formed more than two moons. It would have formed two smaller moons around the outer skirts of the disk, and a few inner larger moons that eventually would have been taken down by Mars's atmosphere or its tidal effects. And it turns out that Phobos is actually slowly coming in towards Mars, but Deimos is slowly going out which means that Phobos could actually be considered one of the inner moons when looking at the whole system. Now how is that similar to our own moon? Well it turns out our own moon formed in a collision between a proto-Earth, or an earlier Earth, and a planet that was about the size of Mars. By such a collision, most of the mass stayed around Earth, however a lot of it was ejected into orbit around Earth, and when it came back together it formed the moon. Therefore. From our own standpoint, it looks like our moon formed from a collision with another planet, which doesn't make it so far out there that Mars could have had the same thing just on a smaller scale. Now one of the main issues with these observations is we can't fully test them. Yes, we can do mathematical models and we can predict what happened, but the best way to know whether or not it's actually true is if we took surface samples of the moons. For example, if we went to Phobos or Deimos and took a sample and said this is a lot like Mars, then the odds are that it actually was an impact between Mars and a small dwarf planet or asteroid. However, if it turns out the compositions of the moon are more like asteroids that we find in the asteroid belt, therefore it would probably be certain that Mars would have just picked them up from the asteroid belt. Now this is actually a mission that's coming up in the future. JAXA, or the Japanese Space Agency, is actually sending the Mars Moon Exploration Mission, which is also known as MMX, and this mission is going to orbit around both Phobos and Deimos, then try and land on Phobos, take a soil sample, and then bring it back to Earth for us to further test and understand whether or not it actually did come from Mars, or if it came from the asteroid belt. If you have any ideas for future breakthrough videos like this one, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next one.